on the list of foods to avoid. Now number five is basically processed foods. Anything that comes from the food industry should be stayed free from. You should avoid them by all means. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because I'm, all the foods that we've mentioned in the previous videos are combined to come out with a product <laughs> that is basically marketed and advertised, advertised to you for your consumption. They are not healthy, no nutritional value, they have no nutrients at all, and anything that has added sugar definitely has to tell you that there is no nutritional value and therefore you have to add in sugar to get you hooked to it or addicted to it. So it is not safe for your consumption. Anything that is packaged and advertised, be it cereals, be it packaged snacks, be it uh, carbonated drinks, the soda, the energy drinks that you take from the gym, be it fast foods, be it desserts, be it those packaged soups, be it those uh, packaged meat, processed meats and all this. Please, if it is advertised, just know you are the product. So stay safe from them. Now, the reason why you should avoid uh, processed food is one, poor and zero nutritional value. They have no nutritional value. Take for example, if you're taking potato crisps, what do they have? Nothing. They only have sugar and those potatoes that are actually genetically modified and have high chemicals. Okay, so excessive refining in the pro in the industries in the process of just uh, making this pure product and this addictive product, that refining is the issue because they add in chemicals, they add in preservatives, flavoring agents. Now on that flavoring agent, there's something they call MSG, and we hope to talk about it. Of course, we've talked about it in a video. We still uh, mentioned it here. So all this remove this processing removes valuable nutrients from these food uh, substances removes fiber, removes husks, removes all these valuable and natural uh, trace elements, even amino acids and vitamins, they are removed to come up with a free product that is appealing to the eye, but with no nutritional value. Take for instance, corn flour or maize flour. They will remove the husk, they will remove everything, then remain with the cornstarch. That is what is actually imported in our countries, and that is what we use as flour. There is no maize in that. It's, just cornstarch, please avoid it. When I tell you ugali has zero nutritional value and specifically even the packaged ugali, it is true, it has nothing. It's just cornstarch which is highly inflammatory to your gut and it will cause you all these problems and nutrient deficiencies. Stay sane from processed foods. That is reason number one. Reason number two, they are high in added sugar. Now, I already told you, since they do not have any nutritional value, therefore you have nothing to benefit from them. And now, the food industry, again, since it woke up before us, they add in sugar. They add in fructose corn syrup. And all these are sugars. What are, why are they doing that? Because they want you to get that dopamine hit. Then you get addicted to these foods. And they walk happily to the bank as you walk sadly to the hospital. Okay? And then walk out of the hospital with drugs. Still making them rich and making you poorer. Okay? So stay away from them by all means. Again... I even wonder what seed oils are doing in these things. So you remember, these snacks, they're fried in seed oils, they're added sugar, they're added preservatives and flavorants and even food colors so that they make this product appealing to your eye and then they market it using the mainstream media. So anytime you see that advert on television, you're tempted to buy that. And this affects more ladies than men because of emotional uh, purchasing and emotional uh, advertising. That's why the soda industry uses specific colors that's why they use that fizzing voice or sound. That's why they package their product in a color that is so appealing and they make it even cold so that once you touch it and you enjoy it, you drink it, it's good. Just take that soda, open it up, leave it to rest and then take it after like 30 minutes. You realize what you've been taking is poison because at that moment in time, you'll not even enjoy it. It doesn't feel as sweet as you would have wanted it. Now, since these things have sugar, added sugar, and they have no fibers, and they have high amounts of seed oils, what are we leading ourselves into? Automatically, the nutrient deficiency. We already talked about nutrient deficiency in all the foods that we have mentioned are to be dropped. Now, this is the one that has most of it because it has all the, the other four. Has seed oils, has wheat products, has sugar, and then 
has the seed oils. The seed oils which cause inflammation to your gut, cause perforation to your gut, they mess up your stomach environment, and therefore you cannot digest proteins adequately. And even if you digest, you cannot absorb them adequately and you cannot absorb nutrients, stress elements and ions in their adequate forms. And what goes ahead is after an inflamed gut, after a nutrient deficiency, you go into nutrient deficiencies or malabsorption and malnutrition. Uh, Therefore, you start experiencing these anemias, these bone problems, this arthritis, these muscle pains, these joint pains, all and systemic inflammation and even insulin resistance. So once you get into this, unfortunately, you don't realize it's the foods that you're eating because once you walk into a hospital, then your doctor is quick to write your prescription. Okay, and that prescription is all about drugs that have side effects. So you even make it worse for yourself. Now, apart from nutrient deficiencies, others like MSG, which is basically a flavorant. MSG is monosodium glu uh, glutamate. Now, this is basically glutamine being hidden. Okay, and glutamine, remember, we said it feeds cancer. Glutamine is also uh, an abundant amino acid in literally all the foods. But MSG, what it does is it numbs your taste buds. So it blocks your taste buds and then gives you a false taste of foods. That is what the food industry has totally capitalized on. Most processed foods have MSG. Those pizzas that you eat have MSG and MSG numbs your taste buds. MSG is also highly inflammatory to your gut and therefore it causes systemic inflammation and malabsorption. Also gastritis and the celiac disease. So MSG is a dangerous substance to be used as a flavoring agent. I am aware that there are studies that say glutamine is healthy for your uh, system. But there are two. So we discussed MSG in a detailed video. We will put up a link so that you can get to see that. Okay. So MSG is dangerous. MSG is harmful to your health. MSG is highly cancerous because of remember that glutamine feeds cancer. So stay sane from processed food because they are high in MSG. The reason why you're addicted to that pizza, the reason why you're addicted to that uh, french fry, the reason why you're addicted to that uh, chicken is because, that processed chicken is because of MSG. It is numbing your taste buds and therefore you will not taste foods in their natural forms. Once you stay sane from this and you start fasting, your taste buds rejuvenate and you start tasting foods in their natural forms. So MSG and chemicals like preservatives, which are used to extend the shelf life of these products, is what is causing harm to your system. Your body is not designed to take in these chemicals. Sometimes it doesn't even know how to handle them and digest them. And therefore, they become a problem to you. Okay? So they mess up your mitochondria, they mess up your cell structure, and they lead you to all these metabolic conditions. If you're struggling with weight gain, obesity, diabetes, cancer, it is high time you stay away from this for a reason. Apart from them just causing you a proliferation of these conditions, they also increase your insulin levels. Remember, processed foods are high in sugar and they are uh, simple carbohydrates. So they cause a spike in insulin levels. Therefore, that tells you a metabolic syndrome is imminent. Diabetes, obesity, hypertension, high triglycerides, high LDL, low HDL, and all these conditions that come as a result of insulin resistance, including kidney failure and therefore uncontrolled hypertension and therefore bone problems because you cannot produce uh, you cannot uh, produce adequate vitamin D and therefore anemia because the kidney fails to produce erythropoietin. So this has a link to uh, processed foods. Now come to think of it, you're eating processed foods, then you're taking a fruit, then you're cooking using seed oils, then you're eating wheat products. You can imagine what you're just doing to your system unknowingly. It is a whole load of things that totally mess up your system. And remember again, on the labels, be careful anytime you walk into a supermarket or that uh, uh, food uh, parlor to buy those processed foods. Just take time and read on the ingredient. Most of you eat food that don't even know what uh, made these foods. So you'll realize they will mention different uh, uh, ingredients that are used in these foods, but they hide them. Sometimes they use codes for different uh, substances that you know if you realize it, you will become uh, rebellious, rebellious to the system. So they can use codes for like products like MSG. They can use specific codes or different languages that you don't understand. Be careful. Now, they will also tell you that in these processed foods, we have this amount of carbohydrates, this amount of sugar, but they do not tell you the total summation of carbohydrates in these foods. They will only tell you the net carbohydrates. Our interest is the total carbohydrate. 
because if you eat that one pack, one kg pack of potato crisps, the amount of seed oils, the amount of carbohydrates, the amount of sugar that you've consumed is a huge load to your system. So stay sane from these things. If you ever eat that and then start fasting instantly so that your system helps you to clear up some of these things from your, from your system. So we don't count these snacks as a main meal. We take snacks, a huge amount of them, but we'll never count them as a huge meal. So we'll only count the food that we eat when you're seated on a table as a main meal, but all these others. That's why when you ask somebody, how many meals do you eat in a day? They'll tell you, I eat only one meal a day, but the whole day they've been snacking. So they don't count that as a serious meal. It is even high in calories than the main meal that you've taken on that table. We already explained cravings as a result of spikes in insulin. Again, we already explained cravings as a result of dopamine addiction. And therefore these foods are hunger foods. They are not satiety foods. If you want to live a healthy life, start with carnivore diets or even keto diets because protein and animal fat are the satiety foods. Once you eat them, you will take a long period of time before you get hungry and before you take another meal. So we want to fix our taste buds, we want to fix our gut, we want to fix our cravings so that we start losing weight, we stabilize our insulin, we recover from metabolic syndrome and fatty liver, and we start recovering from all other conditions that are chronically uh, related. And above all, these foods, since they have seed oils, since they have uh, sugar, they cause an inflammation to the gut. Now we all know from video number one, we talked about celiac disease. So once you cause inflammation of the gut, then gastritis is eminent. Malnutrition and malabsorption is eminent. Therefore, nutrient deficiencies will be there. And therefore, chronic conditions will be there. Chronic inflammation and systemic inflammation will be there. So the only way to stay safe is to start dropping all these foods that we've mentioned and the reasons why we've mentioned them, we already put it to you. Those reasons are supposed to be taken seriously. Eat foods in whole, whole foods the way nature wanted it. Then again, you're not designed to eat all the time. Make sure there's a gap of eight hours between every meal that you eat. But again, the most effective way to achieve autophagy and achieve healthy living is basically one meal a day. If you have two meals a day, just make sure you have a six, a six hour eating period or eating window. Then you have an entire uh, 18 hours of not eating so that your body cleans up, your body absorbs, your body turns this into energy. And therefore, you actually utilize the food that you've taken. So stay away from processed foods.